If you're one to engage in activities like sitting, running, lifting, sleeping, then you're more than likely susceptible to your body tightening up. When this happens, most of the time, you can say goodbye to fluid movement, pain-free exercise, and nudie magazine day, and say hello to a tight lower back, tight hips, and a cramped up neck and shoulder region. If this sounds like you, then it's time to sit back, relax, and digest what's on the other side of this very intro video. Let's face it, most of our lifestyles suck. As much as we try to do the right thing, most of us always seem to be stuck in endless cycles. These cycles usually consist of things like having to always get on top of tight areas, always ensuring that we don't topple the scales, always maintaining our cardiovascular health, and of course, always keeping on top of muscle and bone strength so that our body doesn't fall apart as we age and deteriorate. This type of stuff, while indeed simple, is often overlooked by the majority of the population which is clear when you consult statistics such as obesity, CVD, exercise, stress, anxiety, depression, and loneliness. Something is not right here. When there is a gym on practically every corner in cities and thousands upon thousands of people across the globe that work in the health industry, it doesn't seem right that these types of statistics exist. Although on second thought, the fact that there are stories about how someone's doctor smokes or how overweight their dietitian is certainly displays that lifestyles play a huge part in the state of health. I mean, if our own health professionals cannot maintain their own health, then what hope does the general population have? Okay. Of course, we can cry and complain and make excuses when it comes to doing the work to gain and maintain our health, that is, to reverse this type of reality. But this is only scratching the surface. We must accept that a lot of our jobs and lifestyles are sedentary, and that they involve a lot of driving, sitting, and sometimes very minimal movement. We then must create a culture around health being a priority, and not a chore. This can be done through education and support, and would ultimately lead to people valuing their lives more, and prioritize personal health endeavors. Unfortunately, as people nowadays, even with the knowledge of this reality, still make time for their favorite TV shows or their hair appointment or that night out and put their health on the back burner, then we know how far we still have to go. But hey, we can't blame them of course, we're all human and we all therefore see time only linearly. If we could see our future, then most of us, if not all of us, would ensure that our health and well-being is always put high up on the priority list. This would then result in situations like this being far less common. There is no denying that one's lifestyles and choices impact reality, whether it be sitting at a computer for prolonged hours during the day, inefficiently exercising, or simply doing nothing at all. How one lives results in how their body exists, and in this case, how fluid and mobile one's joints are. Lifestyle habits like sitting too much, standing poorly, or of course doing nothing will always lead to ramifications. When talking about tight areas specifically, whilst the why can be any number of factors, combined or perhaps singularly, we can typically nail things down to a few main reasons. They are weaknesses, overactive muscles, inactive muscles, and or pain and its defense mechanism causing ability. Let me take a very common example to further demonstrate what I mean by this and bring to you the old hip and thoracic region, i.e. a common area of the body that tightens up in this day and age. Which is understandable, I suppose, especially considering the fact that most of us spend a good portion of the day in a shape that resembles a Tetris piece. To counteract this, we can stretch all we want, but other than simply increasing our stretch tolerance, stretching always leads us back down the road to the same location. Tight. This is because the problem doesn't primarily lie in the fact that these muscles are tight, but rather other areas are not doing their job correctly. More specifically, when tight hips arise, for example, we can generally point our finger to the glutes and anterior core being weak and or inactive. So even if you think that you've got great core strength or that your glutes are bootylicious, your hips may still be tight because you just don't activate these areas enough to combat the tightness. Similarly, your thoracic region can be tight because you exist in a Quasimodo-esque posture, leading to ramifications such as inactive posterior muscles, breathing impairment as your lungs cannot expand correctly and your diaphragm cannot descend, and an overactivation and somewhat shortening of the muscles that keep you in a hunched position. This unfortunately also leading to the situation becoming worse and your body and yourself suffering more because of it. However, there is a way we can change all of this, and it all begins with this one drill that rules them all. One drill that finds them. One drill to bring them all and in the Now, before cutting to the demonstration, please be advised that there are not any actual pretzels in this video. 
nor are pretzels actually the thing that will change your life. It's just a name for this drill, so don't be alarmed when you don't witness any actual pretzels in the video. It's just me. Just little old me. It should be said, however, that this drill is one of my favourites because it has the ability to hit three main areas, plus a whole range of minor areas too. Not to mention that it is great for body awareness and even breathing. Uh, enough talking, let's jump straight to it. Hey guys, Hayden here. We're going to go through two variations of the pretzel now. So both of them are going to be on the ground, but we'll begin with the first one, the easier one actually. So coming down to the ground, what you're going to do, you're going to place, it's probably easy to take it the same side as me for now. So coming onto your right hip, and what we're going to do, we're going to use the left knee, we're going to bend it up into a right angle, the hip and the knee, and then the right fist is going to pl be placed underneath that knee. So now we're in this position, the right leg will be extended out nice and straight. So from here, left hand grabbing into the rib cage and just lie yourself back nice and comfortably. If it feels a bit restrictive, don't worry, just do you go to your capability. And now that we're in this position, all we have to do is just maintain the structure of what we've set ourselves up into and we're just gonna take deep breaths in and try to get this left shoulder to the ground. So in through the nose and then out through the mouth. Nice and deep. So again, trying to get this left shoulder to the ground as much as possible. Each time, each breath, what you're trying to do as well is with this left hand that's in the rib cage, you're gonna take deep, you're trying to actually pull it across as well at the same time. So after you've done about five or ten, five to ten or so, what you can do is obviously switch sides, but now I'll take you through the second variation of the pretzel. So this one's a little bit more complicated, but still have a go at it and just again, go to your capability. So this time the left knee is gonna to be to, right to the ground, not underneath the fist, and the right foot you're gonna be holding on with the left hand. So once we're in this position, you wanna make sure you extend this leg out so it's nice and straight and in line with your spine. You don't wanna be sitting that right leg up nice and close to the left leg. Keep it back and extended. And so now from here, right hand's on the, on the left knee, left hand's on the right foot, you're gonna lie back into this position. So it's quite uncomfortable at first, but just go to your comfortable uh, position. And again, it's just gonna be the breathing to try to get this left shoulder to the ground. So try out maybe five to 10 reps per side on each of those variations and I hope that those drills are a little bit helpful for you. So I hope you found that video helpful today guys. If you want to learn anything more about the topics discussed in this episode, be sure to check out the description. Also let me know if you're enjoying these videos. You can do that by hitting that like, comment and or subscribe button. That'll really help me out. I guess that's about it this week, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.